Hey everyone, welcome back. Fred here at Math and Engineering, and in this video we're going to convert binary numbers to decimals. Okay, so we have the number, the binary number here, 11101.0001011, and we are asked to express this binary number as a decimal. Okay, this is really straightforward. What I suggest you do right off the bat, we're not going to explain anything here. You don't care about the explanation, I'm sure. You want to know how to do this, and uh, I don't blame you. So, so the first step, let's go ahead and we'll take this number. We're going to write it out a little bit bigger than, than, uh, than it's currently written. Okay, 0, 1, 1, 1, point, leaving a little bit of space in between them because we're going to write some numbers on top of this number. So that's our first step. We've taken the number, we've rewritten it. Great. What's the next thing that we do? We're going to start, we're going to look for the decimal place here, and we're just going to go one number to the left of that. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to write on top of the numbers in a different color, it is just to the left of the decimal, I'm going to write a zero. Okay? And from, from uh, this number onwards this way, I'm just going to write sequential, sequentially ordered numbers. Okay, so we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and, and now I'm just going to go to the decimal. I'm going to go to the right of the decimal to the number, and I'm going to start at negative one, and I'm going to go down from negative one over top each of the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to end at negative seven. So, well, what do we do with that? Pretty simple. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start at number one, okay, to the left of the decimal. And since this uh, binary is a base two system here, we're going to say this is one. Okay, one times two, okay, two, so base two to the power of zero. All right, that's our first term. Okay, we're going to, and we're going to add all of the terms up for these binary numbers. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. That one's finished. We have one, so write the original number down here, and you're going to multiply that by two to the power of whatever is above uh, the number, which is in the red. Okay, so that's going to be to the power of one. Great, let's move on to the next one. Uh, it's going to be 1 times 2 okay, to the power of 2 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 3. It doesn't matter because that's going to be 0. Okay, plus, moving along, this one, 1 times 2 to the power of 4 plus, and I'll just do the last ones quick because we, we know what we're doing now, 2 to the power of 5 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 6. Okay, so that is our first uh, first step okay, of computing the, the decimal number of the whole number of the binary fraction. Let's go ahead and take a look at the decimal portion. All right, and it is going to be a, well, exactly the same process. Hey, we're just going to add these together. And we are going to say that we have uh, the first number here that we're going to put down uh, first, and we're going to multiply this times 2 to the power of whatever's in red. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do that plus, we're going to do that for all of the numbers. Okay, so we're going to have 0 times 2 to the power of negative 2, right? And I'm just going to come down here, plus 0 times 2 to the power of negative 3, okay, plus 1 times 2 to the power of negative 4, and so on. I'm not going to write them all, and then at the end we have 1 times 1 times 2 to the power of negative 7. Okay, and if we, now you're just going to go ahead, you're going to go and add all of these together. Okay, and what you're going to get is that 1110111.0001011 is equal to 119.085937. Okay, in these kind of courses, your professor may be kind of strict in how many significant digits they want you to leave uh, these kind of numbers in. All right, so in this course, I, I would say that it's best to leave more significant digits than less. Okay, so always leave more than you need to. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned how to convert binary numbers to decimals. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.